Danny Villanov is done with Dune. Yes, the iconic director Danny Villanov, who brought the super famous book into life, does not want to direct any more Dune movies. It's an insanely shocking news for the Dune fans, but that's what he said in a recent interview, that he's done with the series. But why is that? Before we get into the nitty gritty, let's discuss Hollywood culture for a bit. That culture will explain why he is not directing any more studio films. Hollywood production companies have a practice which is not new at all at this point anymore. Hollywood studio Studio executives always look for new talents. There are many indie directors who make great movies and executives from different film companies always look for these directors as they want to milk their talent. It's not a crime, it's actually a brilliant and smart approach from a business point of view. Why should you give a big budget movie to a person who never made anything? It's completely reasonable to spend that amount with a person who did smaller projects but those projects were brilliant. A lot of directors, when they were trying to reinvent Hollywood films, they were noticed by the big companies. Some of these directors were Martin Scorsese, George Lucas, and Francis Ford Coppola. They wanted to make movies like exactly what they thought was a good film. They did not care about popular choices, they did not follow any popular Hollywood trends. They only cared about their vision. But when they approached big companies in their early stages, no one wanted to produce their vision. So they made their movies with their own money or with the help of some small production houses. Not one big company wanted to be a part of their films. But when the films were released in theater, the general audience loved their movies and these were big hits. That's when the big studios noticed them, because making big bucks is the only thing that matters to big studios. So when they saw these outsiders could actually make movies that could earn money, they immediately hired them. They told them to make movies with their banner but slightly on their remarks. They gave them a full budget to make the director's vision but with a little bit of commercial approach. That approach actually made Hollywood the biggest and greatest film industry in the world. There's so many good European films and directors. but this films hardly ever make any money. And to make great movies, you need great money. Hollywood changed the game from that perspective. They made pure blockbusters like Bond movies, Star Wars, and tons of Disney movies. But they also produced great directors like Scorsese, Nolan, and now the present Villanov. Villanov is just a recent addition through this process. He has been making indie films from the beginning of his career. He made movies like August 32nd, On Earth, Maelstrom, and Incendies. Those movies were completely his vision and he did not have to compromise at all. Then Hollywood noticed him and hired him. He made Prisoners, Enemy, Sicario, and Arrival for Hollywood. So they saw his true potential and started to make studio films with him. Then he made Blade Runner 2049 and Toon movies. That is what studios do. They give some trial and error projects for small directors and when they see they do well in these projects, then they want to make movies that can earn them billions. For the last 7-8 years, Villanob was making this franchise movies which seems like he doesn't want to do anymore. He wants to focus more on his own crafts, wants to tell stories just with his own vision like he used to.